everyone. My name is Erin and I am a coffee lover. I recently got a Nespresso ritual for Christmas. I've been absolutely loving it. I feel like I am becoming a barista and I wanted to talk to you all about some of my favorite pods. I've seen other people make these videos and I think they're really interesting and you can find different ideas or, um, you know, discover new pods that you haven't tried before. If you like this kind of content, I'm going to be making a bunch of Nespresso videos. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post new videos. Um, without further ado, let's get into talking about Nespresso pods. I've tried a bunch of the pods, probably 80% of the ones that they offer. I had the variety pack, which was really great to discover and try a whole host of the Nespresso pot options. Um, but I definitely have a few that I'm now ordering constantly um, and really reaching for in the mornings or when I want a specific drink. Um, so I'm gonna talk to you about my four favorite pods. So the first is Volteso, which this, if I could only use one pod for the rest of my life, it would be Volteso. Volteso is an espresso shot. It is a single shot and it is a light roast. Um, it has like a nice biscuity flavor. Um, it's I just it's light on the palate. That's the only way I can really think to describe it. It's a little bit fruity. Um, it's very soft. It, it's not harsh at all or bitter, uh, which I think makes it really good for any kind of espresso based drinks that don't have milk in them. Um, I am a really big fan, for instance, of iced Americanos. That's kind of my go-to drink in the morning. And usually also what I would get at coffee shops before I can make espresso based drinks at home. And this makes a beautiful iced Americano. I just, I love it. It's exactly the flavor that I want. Um, and it gives like a nice little kick, but it's also just very soft and light and almost like kind of velvety in your mouth. Um, so I really like Volteso. I haven't really heard a lot of other people talk about it. I think it's wonderful and I would highly recommend it for anybody who likes lighter coffees or lighter roasts and who also um, likes espresso based drinks, um, but doesn't like to add milk or syrups or anything like that that kind of can mask some of the bitterness uh, from a darker roast espresso or like a double shot. But you could totally make something a double shot by just using two of the pods if you wanted to. So as far as what Nespresso says about Volteso, this is Volteso, a light and sweet virtual espresso coffee that you might just make your golden standard. It's Brazilian bourbon coffee adds a biscuity aroma to the rounded, mild Arabica coffee from the Colombian Highlands. So it is a blend, as most of the espressos are, um, between Brazilian and Colombian coffees. Um, just can't tell you how much I love Paltesso. Up we have Caramel Cookie. This is another one I haven't heard a lot of people talk about. This is from the Barista Creations Collection and um which includes four different flavored coffees where it makes a full seven ounce coffee full cup of coffee um and it's the barista collection because they're um sort of specially flavored and actually kind of made to be able to drink black without any milks um or again any kind of additives in it and um I have never really been a black coffee drinker, even just kind of psychologically, because I'm somebody who doesn't really like very sweet coffee drinks, but um, I like the color of a coffee when it's kind of more of a brown versus it being black. I feel like it makes it taste more bitter to me. I usually put like a little bit of some kind of a, an alternative or nut milk into my coffee. I'm really, really into cashew milk. Um, walnut milk is also really great. I'm not a really big like almond milk person, but um, there's many, many great nut milks out there that I love. But these coffees, I can drink black. And I usually honestly prefer it because with the crema, it has a nice creamy and foamy texture. So I'm not missing anything as far as that goes. But it's just so flavorful 
and it, it's not uh, astringent whatsoever. It's, it's not harsh in the mouth. It's just very smooth. So I, in Caramel Cookie, they have four different flavors. There's Chocolate Fudge, which is the only one I haven't tried yet, uh, Vanilla Custard Pie, Hazelnut Muffin, and Caramel Cookie. I've heard people talk about Vanilla Custard Pie a lot and Chocolate Fudge, but not Caramel Cookie. And um, this is my favorite of the three that I've tried so far. Um, I don't think vanilla custard pie has enough of a potent vanilla flavor to really call it vanilla. Um, and hazelnut muffin, I do like hazelnut muffin. I um, have hazelnut muffin pods actually currently, but it's just not my absolute. Caramel cookie is my go-to when I want just a cup of nice hot coffee. As biscuity notes, a lot of people are also confused because caramel cookie um, doesn't have a sort of blatant in your face caramel flavor. It's not like you're biting into a caramel apple or something like that. My understanding of it is that because Nespresso is European, um, when they say caramel, they're taking it um, more in the European meaning because like caramel cookie, it, it's more like it means more of something that is biscuity, not necessarily like straight caramel. I'm clarify, I'm gonna read the description from Nespresso. Barista Creations Caramel Cookie starts with lightly roasted Arabicas from Latin America and Africa. We add in a touch of caramel flavor and it gives the blend a buttery biscuit note that'll take you back to your childhood days. So as you can see, they say they add a light touch of it and they talk about it adding a buttery biscuit flavor. So it's not meant to be again kind of straight in your face caramel it's meant to be a subtle note within the coffee flavor so anyway i really like caramel cookie i would definitely recommend you try this if you like biscuity lighter roast coffees you're probably starting to see a pattern here with my favorite pods um because this is just so excellent next up we're back on espresso and I'm somebody who really likes iced lattes and iced coffees and drinks in general. I talked about iced Americanos um, and I also really like iced lattes. I like hot lattes too, but I would say three out of four times I reach for a, uh, an iced latte. I just find it more refreshing and I think sometimes the milk kind of combines better with the espresso when it's in an iced form. I found out that Nespresso makes specific pods for ice-based drinks, which I love. Try Ice Ligero. And I know this is currently sold out on the Nespresso website, sadly, but um, for good reason. And I'm sure once it comes back into stock, definitely would recommend buying. Um, it's also a very pretty looking pod. This is a double shot. So it's two shots of espresso and it's made to uh, go into ice base drinks. And unfortunately I threw away the box and I'm using my phone to record this. So I can't look it up, but I will insert something uh, about, about Ice Ligero from the Nespresso website. Um, I really find this to be very pleasant in ice base drinks. As it says, I've tried other uh, Nespresso espresso shots making an ice latte. And I think this is just the best one. It ends up being like really smooth and creamy, but it definitely has a kick. It's definitely stronger because it's a double shot. And I think it's a medium roast, I believe. Um, so it has some body and some boldness to it, but it's not overwhelming. And I think it does also pair really well with milk. So I really like this pod. Pretty much anytime I'm making an iced latte, this is what I will use for it. And um, I think it's great to have for whenever you want some kind of an iced espresso drink. Our final pod is going to be Altissio. This is another espresso pod. Uh, this is a single espresso, so one shot. It is a bit bolder than Voltesso. It is a medium roast, so it has more body and boldness to it. It's a more intense flavor. So, espresso says, when Altissio walks in, you'll notice South American Arabicas and Central American Robusta give it that full-bodied, bold espresso taste. 
The Costa Rican Arabica adds its soft cereal note. Full Altisios, a highly roasted coffee cloaked in creamy royal robes, which is probably why it's royal purple. So again, another coffee that has cereal notes that seems to be what I like. That's my taste preference. So it's the most robust of all of the coffees we've talked about so far. I believe uh, Malteso is a four intensity out of 11. Caramel Cookie is a six. Altissio is a nine. And Isolero, I think, is a seven. So it is very bold, but because it has those nice cereal notes to it, it's still very soft. I really like this. I will use this for iced Americanos if I want something just with a little bit more kick to it. Um, usually this would be like an afternoon pick-me-up and the lighter Valtesso would be in the morning. I know most people might like that the other way around, but I just don't like anything too jarring in the morning. I feel like that gets my adrenaline pumping in a bad way. It's really great for anything. I also do make uh, lattes with this. A lot of times if I'm making a hot latte, this is the pod that I will use because I think it pairs really well with milk with the boldness. I think this is perfect for hot lattes or cappuccinos. These are my four favorite pods. I'd love to know what your favorite pods are. If you've tried any of these or you have any suggestions, if you think there's something I might like based on learning a little bit about my coffee preference, I would love to know. Subscribe for more Nespresso and coffee content. I've got a lot coming down the pike. No pun intended, I guess. <laughs> if you're a Starbucks lover, you'll understand what that means. And thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.